5 run. Five minutes in first quarter. Eight for Niang, seven for Bogdanovich, and a bucket from downtown by KJ Martin. Yeah, KJ Martin has shown he could knock that three down. To, as KJ Martin knocks that one off the glass down, but bad pass by Niang. Rudy went down low on the block, and Niang overthrew him. The follow, count it, a bucket. The Rockets all the way back from 15 down, up by one. Not that it's not important. But you've got to find a way to manufacture some great defense against this team as well. And I'm with you on the free and easy kind of style of play. KJ Martin drops a straightaway three. When was handling the lineups as Martin Jr. knocks a three down. But a lot of threes by the Rockets gave them a seven point advantage. Gobert came by late. You saw him swat that ball out of bounds. And Rudy tries to keep it alive, but it's loose and a turnover. Rockets run, hammer it down. What a play by Martin. Jazz with the right idea, but it kind of broke down there. Royce O'Neal trying to get it into Rudy. Team Rockets 16 and 51. A story of two opposite seasons indeed, but they play on as you get a jam by Martin. 18 points, 16 at the half. Work by the position, so, you know, the Jazz know that each game is important for them. We talked about that third quarter. The offense has been really clicking for the Jazz the whole game, and KJ Martin's been having a great game individually. Replay booth. There's a high lob up top, nicely done. Buckets by Martin. There's that never quit Rockets team. 50 and 18. Yeah, Jazz getting a little lazy at the end of the game, but. Maybe a little fatigue setting in from that back-to-back, -back, that emotional game last night.